Hey guys, this is Drew, and we're inside the Grapevine Convention Center enjoying Grapevine uh, Coin Show. Today, Casey can actually pan to the table and just see all the stuff that we purchased. I think we spent about uh, four, four and a half thousand dollars on just this stuff right here. Hey guys, this is Drew with the Gooster Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, nobody's here. And that is what we do. We show up early and we buy the best stuff. So welcome to Grapevine Convention Center. Uh, enjoy the show. Here are a few I'm thinking about at the show. A lot of decent coins. Older holder here. Flashy 78S. Nice better date PL here. Kind of see that proof-like feel to it. And there's some more better dates here. Overall, a pretty cool group. Hold out 700 taking care of these four for the shop. Hey guys, this is Drew, and we're inside the Grapevine Convention Center, enjoying Grapevine uh, Coin Show. As you can see, there's still a lot of people here. It's almost at the end of the day. Um, found some pretty decent stuff. Uh, a lot of tone stuff, surprisingly. Uh, a lot of fresh inventory, so let's, let's take some time, and we're gonna go interview a few people, and then we're gonna show you some cool coins later, so stay tuned. Alright guys, uh, so I'm here with Blake and Luis from Royal Coins Houston. Uh, I wanted to ask them a few questions about the show. Uh, we're going to start with Blake. How was the show today like as opposed to other great ones in the past? It was pretty good. It's a, a little above average today. A little above average. And uh, Luis is normally at the shop when we're, when we're there. And uh, today, uh, Christy stayed at the shop. Luis, Luis took a field trip to the Grapevine. Uh, would you rather be in the shop right now or at the show right now? I like the show a lot. <laughs> why, what's the main reason why you like the show? So with the shows, you get to see a lot of folks that are uh, more in the hobby versus uh, the general public. Right. You get more specialized in the sense of, hey, do you have a 09 SVD, for example, or yeah. how much are your equals more for? So they know what they're talking about. So it's a, but also at the shop, one thing I do love is the teaching part. So like a, over here, everybody knows versus the shop, I have to the great walk in we get to uh, help them what they have. So it's kind of like uh, you can take your time more people, be more uh, familiar with them and talk with them in the shop. But here it's kind of like you're putting your knowledge to the test. Um, someone asks you something, they don't want to go on the flyer, they're walking off, right? Right. Like for example, at the point at the shop, uh, we're the experts, and then over here we're also the experts, but they are sharing knowledge with everybody that's yeah. the same thing. It's like welcome to the jungle kind right. of thing. Yeah. What's a good, where's a good place we can find you guys if we want to check out our inventory or give you guys a call with someone we can reach out to? You can find us on Instagram at Raw Coins Houston or our website, rawcoins.com. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about our present? Yeah. Got the feeling in your bones, make you feel right at home. Honey, does it, does it well? Keep me dancing till I'm dead. Cause I can run a mile like this. Get over here, as far as I need.
Hey guys, just made it back to the hotel room. It's around, it's around midnight now. Uh, it's been a lot of day sourcing and looking, and uh, we're gonna talk about basically how to approach somebody at a coin show to buy a coin. Um, and it's kind of a sophisticated way that most people don't talk about um, because you wanna be A, efficient, but also B, cordial at the same time. Um, and so what I did during the coin show today was basically uh, talk to the dealers about how they've been doing, um, you know, because we haven't seen each other probably in almost a month now. Um, and they also, you know, once you invite yourself and talk to them about, you know, what they're doing, they end up just saying, hey, you know, you want to take a look at my new inventory. Um, and sometimes it helps you um, find stuff that most people won't be able to see because somebody might have uh, purchased that um, before putting it in their case. Um, but first, let's show you guys a few coins real quick. Um, this is uh, a 1909 SVDB. Um, it's raw. We actually bought this at the show um, out of a case. The guy just started setting up and um, finding a 1909 SVDB for the price we got it at um, is extremely rare right now. Um, and so I couldn't pass on something like this. Um, let's see what else we, should, we got today. Um, something else that was pretty nice is this uh, 1879-0. Uh, 18790 uh, Morgan's the pretty much the toughest mint mark uh, to get other than the 79 CC um, you know better dates like this is what people are always hunting for for their collections so I'm pretty stoked about finding uh, this example as well uh, Royal Coins Houston actually helped me out with this um, and I'm very thankful um, and kind of what we we're talking about earlier was um, there's a lot of people that ended up walking into shows um, put their finger on the table and go price or uh, you know they're almost like what can the dealer offer me what can I get out of the dealer and um, I guess for a short, ter short term that might work um, you know you might get your price off the bat you might get a good deal um, but I think overall long term um, building relationships in the hobby is extremely important um, mainly because now that I walk through shows um, I basically get waved down and say, hey, can you come take a look at what we got that's new? Uh, we love your opinion on this price on this coin. Um, we uh, don't know how to price this coin. Could you help us with that? Um, stuff like that really helps you get closer to the dealers, find great deals, um, and it allows you to um, just get plugged into your local area. Uh, we actually started going to uh, shows earlier this year uh, for the first time and Grapevine was our first show. Uh, we didn't know very many people, but we started to get to uh, accustomed to how we do things at coin shows um, in terms of understanding relationships while also trying to hunt for coins maybe for your store or uh, a business. Um, so there is kind of a, a, a balance between uh, kind of finding everything that you might need um, and having that relationship that you carry with custom with with your dealers um, just so um, long term it's more beneficial than uh, finding all the great things at one show um, short term but let me show you guys a few more coins before this video ends um, this is uh, a 1964 roosevelt dime it's extremely hard to see with this uh, the color on this coin um, but it's you know even in the dark you can see this really nice green and red color on the obverse. Um, we were offered this coin um, it, almost as soon as it was set out today. Um, this and the color on it is pretty difficult to find, and um, it is actually has really nice eye appeal. Um, what else can I show you guys? We actually bought a bunch of commemoratives as well. Um, this Oregon commemorative we bought today. Um, this Oregon has a, a pretty nice luster to it. And it has some rim toning starting to come onto the coin as well. Um, that you know that happened before it was put in a holder, um, but uh, it gives that kind of plus in character. Um, sometimes you find commemoratives that are uh, original, but they're just not uh, very eye appealing. Um, they have kind of that uh, crusty look to it, and it's just not very attractive. Um, this coin is a complete opposite. So stuff like this, I normally love to pick up. Um, what else can I show you guys? Um, bought some better date stuff like we were talking about earlier for Morgan Dollars. Bought the 96.0 and XF45. 
Um, this is a nice starter date for uh, someone that wants to fill in their set and don't want to spend you know five, six, seven hundred dollars on a decent AU example. Um, and we actually lucked out buying two 1909 SVDBs today, which was very surprising. Um, a guy came in at the end of the show. Uh, we normally don't stay until the end, but he actually came in and started setting up his booth and put this nice 1909 SVDB out. Um, it's graded VF30 uh, by PCGS, and it was graded uh, pretty far back then, so uh, it might be undergraded, I'm not too sure. But um, the show was, was really, really nice today. Casey can actually pan to the table and just see all the stuff that we purchased. I think we spent about uh, four, four and a half thousand dollars on just the stuff right here. Um, so the market is pretty hot um, and there's a lot of things that you guys uh, will start to find at coin shows that will uh, benefit you, especially when you show up to bat every time and you are uh, there early and you build great relationships with dealers. Um, the last things I want to show you guys are these really nice Buffalo nickels. Um, we, like I was been telling you guys, we've been building a Buffalo nickel set just because of how affordable the coins are. Um, and they haven't really shot up too much in price, so I still feel like they're undervalued for me. But I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take me seriously. Um, it's pretty hard to see these, but they have really beautiful uh, crescent kind of toning to them, almost like a bullseye. Um, one's has really great luster with blues on both sides and one is starting to fill in almost like a light rainbow um, and when I bought this from a dealer today you know he didn't really care too much for toning he's not a toning guy um, and he said you know hey Drew do you want these for ten dollars each over gray sheet and I was like uh, yes sir sign me up so um, you know just a fantastic day I couldn't ask for a better one got to hang out with uh, great friends buy great coins and do what we enjoy. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Comment what you thought of this video. Um, did this tip help you at all? And uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we create videos every single week and we're constantly trying to innovate and help you um, on your newismatic journey. So have a great week and we will see you in the next video.